All right, I finally figured out a uh, good one to get my worm in started with. If you know what a worm in is, the uh, bag is basically got a flow through bag. It's got a breathable material here. Has a uh, flap you can zip over the top. Keeps the fruit flies and all out. And you can even add water through the screen without even opening this thing to your system. But uh, what I did was down here of course I got a pan below it just in case you can put like wet paper down there in case some worms drop out but I uh, instead of pulling these tight what you do is you tie a little a uh, single knot in there I don't know if you can see it or not then I just pull these tight so they don't slip and I can undo this and uh, that's how you can harvest your finished VC out of the bottom of this but what I'm gonna do is uh I went out and I I found some uh, fishing worms that somebody had left out on the bank when they got done fishing to die. I mean, it had water on this, but the worms in here are still alive. There's not a pile of them in there, but it looks like they're uh, Isenia fetida and Perionix excavatus, which the PE will probably die during the wintertime out here in this bag, but I'm going to see. But I'm going to pour these out and we'll see how many is in here first. And then I'll Show you how I'm gonna rig this bag up. Nice looking little diggy batch of worms, but you see this one right here, these little skinnier ones. That's gonna be your PE. See how fast it's moving. I don't want to touch too much going up, kill them off, but you see that one there going. You can tell that one's a PE right there. I don't know if you can see it's purple head right there or not, but these other ones, nice looking. But uh, let me uh, get this bin, this flow through ready, and I'll uh, invert this bag right here for now so they don't get in trouble out here. But uh, like I say, if you ever got EF and PE when you see how slow these are moving, if you watch that worm right there how fast he's moving you see the shape of them it's not one way to tell but anyway yeah it's a better look of a PE when they're hauling butt alright let me get him all right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of this shredded cardboard in there. All right, that down in there, whenever you harvest this, it's gonna go right back in the top of the uh, worm in when I get the first harvest out of it. But uh, next I'm gonna take some of my finished VC and this right here doesn't have any worms in it. I'm gonna take some of that. I'm gonna uh, put a layer of that in there. All right, next I'm going to put another layer of cardboard in there, shred it just like it was before. All right, I'm going to put another layer of VC in there, finish VC. Next I'm going to get some of that rotten pumpkin right there, just take a chunk of it. All right, next I'm going to add the uh, shredded paper to cover this up. And then I'm going to put some water in there, and then I'll be adding the worms. Alright, there ain't a load of PE in there, but I mean, there ain't a load of nothing in there. So, anyway, looks like there's at least three PE in there. So, uh, should be interesting to see if they die off or if they fill this thing up because that few of worms, I mean, we'll see how good they breed in this thing. And uh, I'll just leave the old. Back in well, looks like I got them all. But anyway, should be a nice little experiment here. And uh, let me close this thing off. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now the waiting game begins. I'll come back in and I'll keep adding some water to this, make sure it gets nice and drenched down. And, uh, 
any water that drips down will go down in here. I don't really need that little pan in there, but we'll just see how it goes. But that's pretty much it. Hang this thing. I just used a couple of uh, piece of that one inch fence top rail for chain link, four screws, and it's on my little shelving system. So, but anyway, we'll see how she goes. And that's it for now.